battery says it's full. Unfortunately, we're slowly but surely headed back. Um, kind of went as far as I wanted. Uh, kind of went pretty far. Um, I just recently turned around um, on the other side of that tree line. walked way out in the field and I'm coming back this tree line um, before it opens up into a field as you can see that way before it gets to the next tree line way over there I'd say that's probably uh, I don't know 500 yards I'm guessing Right now we're just walking actually down the side of um, a section that we're on way on the other side of a section. It's hoping to find some wildlife in the tree lines over here, but I haven't seen none of that yet either. I'm not big fan of the path of least resistance. <coughs> All I know is I'm not walking back down that road that I walked up while the battery was charging. Um, I don't know if they're getting ready to do a controlled burn or what, but they tilled up the road around each section there's a road. And what it is is it's a fire line that you're allowed to drive on but they tilled it all up <coughs> and uh, it's not the easiest to walk it's like walking in um, dry quicksand I guess I don't know it's worse than walking in sand that's for sure especially wearing a pair of boots I'm really glad I didn't wear my tennis shoes but as you can see, we are literally, I mean, I guess I'm kind of on a path of somewhat, but I walked through here. You can see the path, I guess, on the camera. I'm just kind of walking out for the day. Got a late start this morning. Next day off will be a little different. I've already made plans to be up and at them early. So it give me longer to be out here. And in reality, um, I can drive most of the way, like past here. I can drive way up there and park the car. And I don't have to walk all that. So come Sunday morning, you bet I'm driving up that road till it ends. I think on Sunday morning we're going to be way over there. Section. Two sections over. Not so far back. Just to walk something different. See some different, maybe actually see some more wildlife. And what I've been seeing in the last, I guess, two sections, I haven't really got much wildlife. Something goes through here. Oh, that was deep. Oh, kind of almost sunk in a hole there. Oh, spider web. Probably best just to walk through it and get it over with. It's not the spider webs that bother me, it's the spiders that make the web. Kind of back here on a trail again. People, I guess, just drive wherever they want to out here, with, depending on the vehicle they have. So I randomly run across what looks to be a road. Stop 
stopped for a minute right before I dug the camera out. And uh, I saw one bird flying. And I think it was just a blackbird, crow. Uh, it wasn't a vulture or a hawk. Didn't have those kind of wings. Other than that, it's another quiet day out here. See if anything interesting, I'll let you know. I'm going to go check that out. Actually, I think I can go this way. Looks that way anyhow. Might end up cornered again. I had to backtrack before I sat down and took a break. I had to backtrack to get out of a hole that I was in. Because I didn't feel like getting down on my hands and knees and crawling underneath a palm tree. Like crawling through that right there is what it would have been like, and I just didn't feel like doing it. So, oh, I had to backtrack like five steps, but still, I had to turn around. It's not a bad little camera, it's probably really shaky for you since it's all the way zoomed in. And I'm doing a handheld because I want to see what the handheld looks like. And then, if it's that bad, I'll put it on a tripod and hold the tripod. It's just leaned over a little bit. not even touching that tree. I don't know if you can see that, but in reality, I thought it was in that tree. It's not. It's not even touching it. That's weird. I had to hold on to my sunglasses while I looked up. If I see anything, I'll let you know. <laughs>